Hi. The second part of Chapter 5 deals with attribute queries, where we can make look for spatial relationships among and between the different features that we have. You can see here I've opened up a lab here, where we have point layers that are point fo features that represent North Carolina tornadoes. I have these gray features right here. You can see me uncheck them. These are the urban areas with a population of greater than 50,000 within the state of North Carolina. And then underneath in green, these are my counties. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my attribute dialog and I'm going to look for all all tornadoes within 20 miles of each of these urban areas. So I can do selection, select by location. Previously we did select by attributes. And I'm going to come up with this dialog here. It's going to say select features from. Remember we already had this dialog before. Instead of select from currently se selected features or add to currently selected features, these are select from features from. And we're going to click on North Carolina counties. And in our source data layer, I'm going to click on urban areas. And in the bottom, this, for my spatial selection method, I can do target layer intersects the source feature layer. Well, I'm looking for proximity relationship. When we talk about intersects or contained or within, that's what we call containment criteria. What we're looking for is a proximity criteria with. So I'm going to say target layers are within a certain distance of the source layer. And I'm going to change mine to 20 and make sure we change our units to miles. So I can see what the dialog says. My selection method says select features from tornadoes that are within a distance of my urban areas here. I'm going to click apply and OK. And you can see circles around all of these different polygons right here. So everything in blue represents a tornado that's within 20 miles of a urban area right here. And I can count the number of these here by opening up my North Carolina tornadoes dialog here. And then 318 out of the 984 are here. I can click on the selected one and I can sort these by date or by year. You can see the most recent one that I have here is 9-8-2004. I can look at how many people died here within these. I can right mouse click on fatality and look at my statistics. Okay, and I can see the maximum is 12, a sum of 39. So 39 people have died in tornadoes represent my GIS data layer here. So this is how statistics is also useful here. You know, I can look at my injuries too. We get 646 and we can look at the damage. We, ha we might have to refer to our metadata to see how that's related to. The next thing I want to do is containment. Okay, And I can look at here. I want to find all of the tornadoes that occurred within Wake County here. Okay. I can probably go through and try to count them or try to grab them, but we're going to do this using the Select by Location dialog. A couple ways I can do this. First, I have to select Wake County. Okay, and I can just grab it right here using my selection tool. I could have gone into my NC counties and highlighted it here too and did a query for it, but this is just as easy. So I can go to my selection, selection by location, and this time we're going to do containment. NC tornadoes, once again, is going to be my target layer. I want to select features from, and this time instead of within a distance, I'm going to say intersect. There's other things that I can do here, are within the source layer or completely contained if we're doing things like point versus line versus polygon. But I'm going to say intersect right here. I don't need to select a cert distance since we're doing an intersect. And when I'm set, last thing I need to do is you selected features right here. NC counties is going to be my source layer. And now you can see highlighted, it says you selected features. We're going to go back in a second to see what if we don't use this. Okay. And it's going to say one selected. So which one do you think is going to be selected here? We're just going to find everything within this highlighted feature here. And we're going to click apply. And you can see only these tornadoes have been highlighted that are within the selected Wake County. And I can open them up right here. And I can see within my database, there's 24 of these here. Okay, this is a fairly old database that we're working with here. Real quick, if I were not to check this here, and I click Apply, you can see everything's selected. Because basically, I'm looking for 
give me all tornadoes that intersect with all counties. Well, I created the database that had only North Carolina tornadoes. And if I were to zoom out, that would be every single one of them. Okay, so make sure it's very important that you have this view selected features selected. So you can see here, we can do both containment and do both proximity using points versus polygons versus whatever we want to do here.